Hello and welcome back to Ikmali Studio. I'm Azadin. Uh, in the last video, we uh, done our lighting to, to our scene, and I think it's look uh, uh, nice. Uh, I just want to explain a little bit uh, about. Uh, I said I'm gonna play with the setting, but I didn't uh, change uh, much um, uh, while playing with the lighting. Probably uh, many think is exactly same as uh, the last video, but just I'll explain what I've done when playing with the setting. So I just copy another light. Uh, from here to this side so just to light up this side was really dark and I said uh, as I when I explained this one like you know adding these little point light uh, maybe it's faking as well but just give a little bit more uh, like when you have a dark area you want to a little bit have more light uh, in there so what I've done I just copy one uh, to this side and other thing I just uh, change uh, the material color of this one uh, to a little bit lighter so what I've done I just select this one and move this little bit up nothing I didn't touch anything in here just move this one up and as I said uh, you should play you know with uh, your material color and lighting because everything's uh, uh, linked together to make your scenes uh, look um, nice and I'm gonna show you the setting uh, I'm using for my lights uh, so you can stop your uh, stop the video and copy uh, if you want so I did change this one I think a little bit higher so it was 4000 I did uh, to 400 and these are the setting um, I'm using for my light maybe yours gonna be different and the other light which is just like an ambient light from this side so I have I think it's same I didn't uh, touch it but we do have shadow on this one because we don't have shadow in both way our moon uh, light is coming from this side so if there is a shadow it's going to be just uh, this direction um, uh, the other thing uh, I didn't uh, touch anything else uh, I may check this one if I change this number I believe it was um, uh, 400 I may uh, reduce it down to 200 this is um, our volt uh, which is just uh, ambient light by uh, the image so uh, I think that's all I have done and uh, you should be good to go um, I'm gonna but there's a lot of option you can still play if you want to make your uh, light um, I mean a little bit different than mine uh, because for example if I select this one like just by distance you can make things different for example now if I remove this one it's just lighting everywhere all the way around but if you want just like you know in the area because this is like a four meter your light distance which is going to uh, if you do this I believe this is more like um, I want uh, to have because further away it uh, shouldn't have much light we want to uh, focus on this area which is uh, the, the interesting point we don't want to light up much you know at the back but because it's moonlight, uh, so that's why we still need to have a little bit of light uh, around there as well. If you don't like uh, to have, uh, uh, like mine, uh, to don't have moonlight, you just reduce this number down. Uh, it should, if for example, I'm just gonna change it to 100 or 1000. Sorry. So if you prefer like this, your night, um, that's all. I'm just change this one too so it's all about um, how you like uh, your scene to look like so just change this one to uh, 1000 or less or 500 something like that um, you should be good to go like this maybe you prefer something like this uh, uh, so it's all about uh, uh, what you want like you know your uh, environment uh, look like but I'm gonna change this one to uh, 300 because I want to have a moonlight in my scene uh, maybe you don't want uh, that so that's up to you but uh, this is just explaining there's a lot of options you can play with and make your scene uh, to the way you're liking so I'm gonna keep it like this because um, as I said I'm gonna do a camera in this video but I like to have some stars at the background but I think I'm gonna do it in the next video because I want 
uh, I, I said I'm going to talk about the camera, so I'm going to do the camera movement, uh, and then we're going to do that uh, stars uh, at the background and see from there. So I'm going to talk about uh, adding uh, uh, camera and uh, uh, move our camera to a little bit of uh, animation. Um, uh, but first I think I need to go, uh, I want to go to uh, this uh, mode, so just to make uh, a preview uh, a little bit uh, quicker. So in this mode it's uh, quicker for rendering the uh, screen. So we have uh, one uh, camera in our scene, if you remember. We are uh, uh, long time in other videos just to see our scene uh, composition and I'm gonna delete this one so we're gonna start from uh, beginning this is your timeline so to animate your camera and by adding camera you just um, uh, hold down uh, shift sorry. so hold down shift A and then add the camera and it's gonna add the camera to the position of your 3D cursor so if I press G and Z and move it up uh, this is uh, our uh, camera and to um, move your camera it's just like uh, any other uh, object so you press G and Y so move it this way and press G X move this way or just G to move it freely uh, the way you want the other thing you can move your camera just by selecting this tool and then just move the way uh, you want uh, I'm just gonna uh, make another view on this side so to be able to see so if you press if you uh, select your camera press uh, so you select your camera and press uh, 0 on the number part it should uh, go to the uh, camera view and you're looking at your scene uh, through the camera so from this side uh, this is our camera view but if you want to move your camera so just if I move it up, you can see how we are. Uh, so if you want to animate your camera, all you have to do, you just uh, move your timeline to somewhere you want your camera to start uh, for animate. But let me move this one a little bit back so you can see it better. And I think I'm going to root. So if you go to this, this is where you see the position so this is how you can another way you can move your uh, camera by the direction you you prefer and this is about the rotation so looking up and down and this uh, if you really want like to go crazy with the camera and have uh, some action uh, movement in your camera so let me try to move the camera down like this and move it back from here for example so I'm just showing you uh, there are many options for you to move your camera and rotation so if you want to rotate it this way or this way and believe this is just to look at so I'm just looking at this and you can play with the camera uh, in here by this tool we just press G and move we just with this setting if you want to animate what you have to do you just move the first frame for example or wherever you want to start and then just add a keyframe like this and for the rotation and then uh, move your uh, timeline to wherever you want for the next in different position so now you just move your camera to for example I'm gonna have like this movement and then just add some keyframe like this and we should have our animation so to play your uh, animation you just press space on uh, keyboard and it will uh, play your animation like this and if you look at the movement of the camera it's slow at the beginning and then faster and then slow down so because we have um, is in automatically I think it's been added to our keyframe so if you want your movement to be same from beginning to the end you just select both keyframe 
right click and then uh, enter uh, plugin mode and then just make it line it should fix the problem I mean if you don't want that if you want that to happen like you know too easy and easy out that's up to you so now our camera is moving like this okay if you want to have more than one camera for example you have one shot like this in the scene and then you went from here to uh, have different uh, camera or to look at your scene from different angle so what you uh, have to do just so let me select this one so don't have that gizmo in the on the way so i'm gonna add another camera by shift a and camera like this and press g z to move it up and g x to move it this way so we have another camera and in here you can see we have a camera and camera so i'm gonna this camera one so let me make this one camera two so just for us easy to recognize between them so we have one camera here and another camera here. so this is the active camera this is what you see in here so if you want this camera to be active if you select this one this is what you see so there's another way as i showed you if you want um, to quickly like change your perspective view to your camera so you just uh, move your uh, uh, perspective view to the the way you want like to s look at your uh, scene for example let me choose uh, quickly i'm gonna choose different angle just like this okay so if you want to move your camera to this uh, view you just hold down Control alt and then zero on the number part and the camera which is active is gonna move to that position just don't forget that so now control uh, alt and then zero and now this camera moved to that position so if you want to animate like while you are in the preview so you just press uh, n and let me turn on the shortcut again i forget so i'm keep explaining but still so now uh, if you go to this and uh, turn on this option so now when you move in your camera uh, so when when you move anything here so you move in your camera if you look at this one while i'm doing this so i'm holding down shift on this screen and then this camera is gonna move so if you look at the camera is moving okay so this is another way if you want to animate your camera so let's say from this angle i'm gonna add a keyframe so this camera is selected so i'm gonna add keyframe in this location like this and then i'm gonna move to the end and then hold down shift and move like this okay and then i'm gonna rotate so to focus on uh, our house and then add another keyframe here like this so now we have done another camera animation but if you want to see your first camera in this area and then when you pause this to jump to next camera uh, there is a way you can do so what you have to do you select your you make your first camera active like this so look at this this is our first camera move it to the first frame and keep your mouse on this area on the timeline and then hold down control b and if you see we add our first camera here so this is the camera we added to this so if we move now we can see our first camera and then when it's moving from here we want to see the other camera so if you move to this position and then make my second camera active like this and i want to move it to the just where the camera start so from here i want my second camera to start so uh, select this camera make it active and move your mouse to uh, on the timeline and then 
control B and now you have a camera two. So now from here to here we will have a camera one and then from here to the end we will see camera two. So now from here if you look at here we are looking at this camera is moving. So look this is what this camera is seeing now and when we pass that point it should jump to this camera so this is our jump from here to this point so this is how you can add a multiple camera to your scene and then render your animation so I don't want this video to get really long so you know how to animate your camera there's a lot of option uh, there's other way you can add a curve and uh, use other as a path for your camera to to animate as well I'm not gonna explain that uh, in this video because I believe this is enough for you to make uh, some camera movement for your scene and uh, I'm gonna end uh, up uh, this video from here and I'm gonna create some camera movement for our scene and I uh, maybe next video I'm gonna add a uh, little bit stars in the background because I don't want to have just black you know at the background and if there is possibility maybe we're gonna add uh, moon to our scene as well so I believe uh, uh, you should be okay to animate your camera and just quickly before finishing this so if you want to render your uh, scene so you've done your uh, camera movement you're happy with everything so you're going to this uh, property here and this is the resolution you want to choose from your uh, output so for example this is full HD if you want 4k you just put you know 4k in here the uh, resolution and this is the start frame like for example this is starting from 1 and to 250 if you want to change this one to different number you can change it from here like for example to 500 so now you have a more uh, frame to work with for example if you want to add another camera from here to this you just add another camera same as we have done for the second camera and then just start the other camera from here uh, so just same steps uh, what we applied you know in in this uh, uh, two camera and then you have to change this now it's automatically be a change for you to 500 the other thing this is uh, frame rate so it depends to wherever you want and well the look you want for example now it's 24 frames per second um, I, I'm gonna render on this uh, I'm in Europe so I'm gonna uh, render my in uh, 25 frames per second but you can go like uh, 50 or uh, 60 frames per second uh, if you want like you want to do slow motion that's uh, something different it's all about uh, the look you, you're after and when you've done that so this is where you want uh, to save your animation you just select this one sorry sorry this is the folder we have so just I'm gonna for example call this one render out so you select your folder and then just name anything like uh, night scene like this and then you choose the format you want uh, PNG they are uh, fine and then that's all you have uh, to do in here and the next thing you want to render so you just go here and select this one render animation because if you select this one it's just gonna render one uh, image so which is still image but if you render this one it's gonna go through all uh, on the timeline and the camera movement from start to the end so just make sure to have your key for example our animation stop here so just put 250 because this is where uh, your animation uh, stop so it's gonna render from 1 to 250 and then uh, you can uh, edit your uh, uh, sequence in uh, any other software like After Effect or Premiere Pro or any other software you prefer to use so I'm gonna stop the, this video I'm just uh, gonna 
create some camera movement to my scene and I'll come back and see you in the next video.